Well, I just noticed we've got some black smoke going on. Oh my gosh, yep, we just had an explosion. I'm dying. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back on Stormworks, and we are checking out the steamboat Otediani. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are on board the Otediani, and um, this is actually one of the most detailed steamboat steamships that I have seen on the game. And it is really nice. It's all equipped with the new features. You've got med kits, you've got fire extinguishers, etc. And there is also a sinking feature that allows the ship to explode and burn, so that'll be cool to check out. So let's go ahead and get the thing started. So uh, this is actually my first real experience moving the ship. So um, let's see, W and S, which is forward and backwards, of course. So I think we have to go down to the engine room and get things started. Let's go ahead and do that. Got my trusty flashlight here. So we can go ahead and go below. So we've got this nice open area. Um, engine room, perfect, just what I'm looking for. Let's get those lights started up. Still very dim. Um, what is this? Okay, so this is kind of the the real engine behind the fake boiler. So let's go ahead um, light the boiler. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back up and let's see if we're moving. Yes, we are moving real well now. Uh, interesting thing about this steamboat is that the wheelhouse is actually on the lower level. It's not up here, um, which I haven't really seen on some steamboats in Stormworks, but here we are. It's got a moving paddle, and the cool thing is, is I think that that paddle is the only thing propelling the ship, which is realistic, and it also turns really well as well. So, really nice ship, a lot of really nice details, and we're gonna go ahead and tour the ship real quick. We're gonna look around. Um, so let's go ahead and, so we have a water closet or a bathroom. So we have the lights and heaters. I like how the, he's included the heaters, or they have included the heaters. Um, we have the toilet here. Of course, you've got the um, the splashing kind of glitching through the walls and everything. Uh, here we have, ooh, wow, this is a really nice stateroom. Let's see the light switch, perfect. So yeah, the lights are actually a little dim in here, which is realistic. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but this is really nice. This is a very nice stateroom. You've got this nice mirror. You got the heater, of course. You got two seats, a bed. It's really well decked out, and you have details across. So uh, it's a really nice steamship. So um, you can download it and uh, you can play around with it yourself. I do really recommend that you do download this. Uh, give some support to the creator. This is really nice. Um, going back, we've already been here. This is still a cabin area, even though that the um, not a cabin area. It's still a passenger area, even though it's where the engine room is, or at the engine room level. I don't think we can go any further um, lower than what we are right now. All right, so here's some of the cabins. As you can see, um, they're not as detailed as the staterooms, and that's because they're lower in the ship, and they're for a lower class of people, of course, at the time, I should say. So let's go ahead and find the lights, which, um, there it is, okay, awesome. There we go, now we got some light through here. We got some seats, we got a table. Really nice, really nice stuff going on here. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it, unless I'm missing something. Oh, yes, I am missing something. I'm missing this entire area, the saloon. Look at how detailed everything is. It's really nice, and I like how it's kept to like a low lag kind of thing. It's not as laggy, I should say. Uh, we also have some really nice main doors here, these um, saloon doors that are really wide. Um, but yeah, you have these really nice windows as well to go around. It looks like we have like a captain's suite or something going on. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick because that seems really cool. So, through here. Woman's powder room. Okay, so this is not a suite. This is, um, basically, this is a room where women would go to look nice. You know, dress up, get ready for any event that's going on on board or on land that they are heading to. So, very nice. Going through to the forward section, again, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. We have, ooh, the cargo hold, okay. Um, nothing too exciting here. We have a lower portion down here. Is this, this is the crew bunks, um, I think. Let's go ahead and see. Yep, crew quarters, very, very nice. I love the introduction of all of these little 
uh, equipment pieces, although I don't think a welding torch would be on board the ship, but I know that this is just for roleplay purposes. We have some thermal equipment and everything. Very, very nice stuff. Really love this vessel. This is really cool. So yeah, we are really just sailing along here, and look at that. You can see the wonderful terrain out to the side of us there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and use our binoculars real quick because I love the feature of that. You can see the snow, snowy caps on the top of the mountains. Uh, which is really nice um and all this land here i love seeing this kind of stuff in stormworks because it looks like you're really sailing along a coastline and not like in a video game which is really cool anyways let's go ahead and oh wow i just noticed we've got some black smoke going on oh my gosh yep we just had an explosion i'm dying i'm dying okay wow all right so something's just happened um let's go ahead and go below here um okay Oh, thank God. We have a uh, thermal equipment here. Hopefully, this will be able to protect me from the heat. No, it will protect me from the cold. Okay, no, I'm dying. Um, defibrillators, welding torch, underwater welding torch. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a huge amount of fire right there. All right, I'm going to run through. Run through, run through, run through, run, run, run. There we go. Okay, I need to find the firefighting equipment. Like, desperately, because, uh, the fire is spreading up to the upper deck here. I don't know if I can stop the ship at this point. Um, I remember seeing firefighting equipment. I can't, uh, can't remember where, though. Oh, gosh. Wow, okay, I'm dying. I'm gonna need a med kit, like, immediately. Alright. So, we gotta find that firefighting equipment quickly because this ship is going to be completely engulfed in flames in a matter of minutes i can tell you that for sure all right there we go cool oh god that's bad that's really bad all right up to the main deck the ship is still moving on fire so we got to run past here oh i think it was in the bridge firefighting equipment we have this can we get the lifeboats ready that would be nice deploy the boat Lower the boat. Come on, you can do it. No, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Come on. Slide back off. You got it. There we go. Well, there we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can stop the fire here. Come on. Let's try to get back into the wheelhouse. That's my main goal right now. Because there's a lot of equipment in there that we need to save. Alright, let's try to knock out these flames here there we go we got this area cleared wow the fire is really consuming a lot of things right now um i don't think we can actually get down to the engine room but i'm really gonna try let's see if i can click the button oh thank god all right so we got that taken care of but i don't know if the fire spread to other areas of the ship there's the firefighting equipment uh, let's go ahead and get that off. I think we've got the fire mostly under control now. I think we do. I still see some light, but I'm not going in there to find out. So we'll just control the flames from the outside here. So far, so good. Um, let's go ahead and get that lifeboat launched, the other one. Now that it's finally peaceful again. Alright, so let's... Uh, deploy the boat. There we go. Lower it down. Oh, and we fell off the ship. Great, great stuff. Okay. Um, and it looks like the ship might be sinking. All right, so we're in the water. Let's go ahead and release. Um, let's try to get back up onto the deck of the ship here. Oh, boy. Yeah, the fire has spread way more. Let's try to see if we can clear out that fire. Oh, you can see it down below there. Oh, wow. It's really just taking over the forward part of the ship now. Uh, this is not good. I'm really trying to say it's a thing now at this point, but I don't know if we can anymore. Because you can see the fire has completely spread to the forward part of the ship. Oh, wow. You can see the fires above us. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We have, we have a hull plate that blew in. Okay. This is not good. All right. Clearly, the ship is now going down at this state. Bad things are happening. See if we can run forward. Maybe we can take out the flames. Alright, no. It's too late. It's too late. We gotta we gotta get off the ship. Oh, gosh. 
Not good, not good. Yeah, the ship is going down. You can see the water starting to reach the main deck. There's really no hope for the vessel at this point. Um, I am going to go ahead and take a flare, or a flare gun, I should say, and just fire that into the sky. And put that back, because we only need one right now. So there it is. You can see it there. Just falling. We'll use this fire extinguisher to the very end. Shouldn't last too long at this state. Wow, there's a lot of fire now. Like, it is getting out of control. Like, we can hold it back, but then when we stop, it just instantly reappears. Well, not instantly. It quickly reappears. Alright, well, that's done. So let's go ahead and drop that in the water. Well, we drop ourselves in the water by accident as well. Okay, goodbye. There we go. High extinguishers in the water. Um, yeah, the water's pouring into the doorway, so we really don't have much time left. Uh, let's go ahead, let's see. Oh, yeah, no, the firefighting equipment. Oh, there we go. I thought it was a little far forward, but it's not. So let's clear that out. You know, I don't even know why I'm fighting the fire anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and abandon the ship at this point. Because, really, the water's pouring in. There's no point in saving the vessel. So let's go ahead and swim off. There we go. Excellent stuff. There was a lifeboat. It's way back there now. So, yeah. So let's go ahead. Try to hop in this boat. And there we go. Actually, we did it. So, yeah. We successfully survived. But as you can see, the ship is going down. You can see the fire inside the ship as it starts to tilt into the air. And if we go onto this side, you can see that the fire is really raging below. Um, I didn't open any doors on this side, um, but the ship, you can see it's pretty much at this point, it's plunging, it's going down, you can see the bows going into the air, and you can see that the water is starting to pour in, it's rotating, tipping onto one side, and it's gone vertical, and it's gone there. So yeah, we did survive, we did our best to put the fire out, but... The hull plate breached, and uh, she's gone. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye! Mm -hmm.